Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Isle of Arrows, which is a card-driven tower defence game where we have to save our floaty golden gem thing from waves of adorable little hopping bad guys. So the idea is to use the cards that we have available to build a path for the bad guys to hop along, and then we surround the path with things to kill them. So archery towers and cannons and other sort of shooty things. We can get traps as well to maybe slow the bad guys down along the way. We have to earn money to allow us to either skip cards we don't like, or buy certain and cards that might be helpful. We have to earn bridges to build over the edge of the island. We can put down flags to make the island bigger. There's quite a lot going on. It's not just a straightforward tower defence game. There's a little bit more going on behind the scenes. And I do like a nice tower defence game from time to time. And this one's quite minimalistic. It looks very lovely. It's got a very nice kind of visual style to it. It's quite laid back. The music's quite relaxing. It's all sort of got these lovely kind of clouds going on. It's quite tranquil. So I thought it was well worth a look. So here we go. Let's dive in and do some defending. Okay, so we're going to have a go at the campaign mode, and you might notice that already we're 4% of the way through the campaign, and that's because I've completed the training grounds bit over here. I've done the tutorial, got that out of the way, just so I can understand how the game works and what we're supposed to do and all that kind of stuff. So now with that done, I think we can begin the campaign properly by going to Archer's Oath over here. Now I've not done any of this at all, so I don't entirely know what to expect, so here we go, let's dive into Archer's Oath. Oh, there's a lot of scrolly things happening happening there. Okay, not quite sure what that's about. We'll look at that in a second. Okay, Archer's Oath. An Archer's Oath is the freedom of death. Only the most talented bowmen are worthy of becoming defenders of the Isle. Okay, that's very moving and deep and meaningful. Right, that little kind of purple symbol flag type thing there indicates a wave of baddies. So to finish off this bit of the campaign, to complete Archer's Oath, we've got to survive 40 waves of baddies. That's absolutely fine. And then it looks like, what's this big list? Oh, I see, right. Okay, I get it. So we're going to be given at the start of the game, kind of into our pool of cards that might pop up. We're going to get a quarry. I don't quite know what that does. A dart tower. That's going to fire darts at the baddies. And we're going to get given a spike trap. I think that needs no explanation at all. But then it looks like when we complete 12 waves, we're going to get a tile and then complete 13 waves, get a bonus card, complete 14 waves, get an encounter, 15 waves, a tile, and so on and so forth. Do we get something after every single wave, after wave 12? I think we do. You get two at wave 30, you get a bonus card and a tile. Very nice indeed. Okay, so yeah, we're going to get lots of extra bits and bobs as we play if we manage to get past wave 12. Okay, well, let's see if we can do that then. So here we go. Let's dive in and have a go. No, let's not do that. Select Guild. Okay, this didn't come up in the tutorial bit. However, it looks like we can only pick the Founders Guild right now uh, because the others are locked away. Oh, I see. Right, to get the Architects, you have to complete 30 ways with the Founders. And then to get the Cannoneers... I like the sound of them. They sound very exciting. To get them, you have to complete 30 waves with the architects and so on and so forth for the merchants and the pathfinders. Okay, that's fine. So founders is the only one we can have, but their ability is quite good then by the look of it. Founders gain a heart every 10 waves. So a heart is kind of like your life force, your energy, your lives, whatever. I believe we start with 10 of those. So every 10 waves, we're going to get a heart back. So we heal up a little bit every 10 waves, which is quite good. Okay, right. Now can we dive in? Are we allowed to play now? Yes, there we go. Right, so let's take a quick look around. So right down here, look, we've got our shiny kind of floaty golden gem thing. And we want to keep that safe at all costs. That's very important to us. We love the floaty golden gem thing. Not quite sure why. Don't know what it does, but it's important. It's floaty and golden, and that's a good thing. And then over here, we have the point where the baddies are going to spawn in. So right here, we can see in the next wave, one bad guy is going to appear. They're going to walk along the path. They're going to make their way to this kind of floaty gem thing. And if they reach it, we will lose a life. We lose a heart. But of course, we have defenses along the way. So I think that thing there is an arrow tower. Yes, that is going to fire arrows in this particular region around here. So if a baddie does appear just here, the arrow tower will automatically fire on them. We don't control this, they just get on with it. They just do their jobs and fire at whatever they can reach. So that's quite good. Um, so yeah, I've got 10 lives. Then we've got a little bit of money coming in because we can spend money on skipping cards or we can go to the shop and buy things when the chance arrives. So we have got a little bit of money, which is represented by the gold sort of coin thing. And then we have two bridges right now. So if we do want to build over the edge of the island, we have to use a bridge. So we've got two of those. 
which isn't many, I don't think. And then we have two bombs. So bombs can be used to blow up existing structures and replace them with other things. So we've not got that much in the way of resources right now. However, down here we can put some things down. So right now we can put down this card here, which is a single piece of path. So I think we do that because then if we make the path longer, that tower is going to get more arrows in on the baddie. So if we just go, yes, please, we shall have a piece of path and we shall put it just there, rotate it round, put the path just there. And now because the path is a bit longer, they appear at the end of the path. They've got further to walk, get more shots in. Hopefully we can defeat them. Okay, so we could, if we wanted to, spend a bit of money. We could spend two of our four money to get an arrow tower and we could have access to that. But I think when we go to the next wave, we'll be given that anyway. So I think we'll save the money for now. So if we begin, if we start wave one, oh, I was going to say you get to see the little hoppy people, but you didn't even get to see the hoppy people because they were defeated so very quickly. Right, two hoppy people are going to appear next time. I think then let's get another arrow tower in. Let's get one of those. So I think as well, if we put that there, look, that tower can be our kind of last line of defense that can keep firing at the people who are making their way toward the wonderful golden shiny thing. Um, but we will rotate that round like that because it does come with a bit of water. It comes with a bit of water, which is effectively a wasted tile. We can't do anything with that. So we don't want to put it there because we might get another tower, which we can put there and of course shoot up more bad guys. But yeah, so we'll rotate that round. So the bit of water's here and the arrow tower is there. So that should be quite good. So place that down. And now two bad guys are going to come in. I can't zoom in anymore. So you're just going to have to you know, lean forward and have a look at the uh, little kind of the little hopping baddies. So if we start that wave and slow time down, look, oh, you still don't get to see them because we're taking them out way too quick. OK, we've got some bonus cards so we could restore a heart, but we haven't lost any. The next two tiles will be corner paths. That could be quite handy or we can have a flag and the flag extends the island with new grounds. OK, so we could put a flag here, for example, and we'll get some more space to build on. But I think we'll get flags anyway. Um, corner paths could be quite useful just to make the path a bit longer for the bad guys to wander about on. So do you know what? Yeah, we'll have that. So that is, yeah, that's quite a nice corner bit. Um, ah, can we use that, however? Placement is not at oh, all bother. Right, OK, we're going to have to put that there because it's, you know, that's the only place we can use this. But we're going to have to use one of our bridge sort of uh, tiles, points, whatever they are, because, yeah, this bit here is hanging over the edge of the island. So we have to use one of our bridge things for that, but it's probably worth it. So, OK, we'll put that down. And then, yeah, look, it's got a little kind of bridge bit. Um, and then do we spend? Oh, no, we need the flag. We need the flag thing that we just turned down. OK, do you know what? Start wave three. And we can have, look, the little hopping bad guys, hoppity, hoppity up. I love that they sort of bumble along. Right, there we go. So they've been taken out. That is good. Um, so now we've got a path at that angle. Okay, that does, we have to use our final bridge thing, but it will bring it back onto the main body of the island. So do you know what? Yes, we'll have that bit of path. It's fine. And we have to rotate it round like that. Place it using our one remaining bridge thing, like so. They're going to start over here. I mean, at the moment, it's fairly pointless because you know, they can't, we can't fire at them over here. But they're just the tiles that we're being given. So, OK, start the next wave. Here come the hopping little baggers in a very fetching shade of hot pink, I'd like to point out. They look very lovely. Um, OK, and now we have a path that we can put back over here. OK, so we can rotate back that way. So it's going out in that direction. OK, so place that. So we're making them weave around. And if we could... If we could get a shooty tower here, the tower will be able to target people here, here, and here, and here. It'd be quite good. That space should be reserved for a shooty tower type thing. I mean, we could, we could get that in. Could we get that in? I don't think we can actually. Hang on. Let's begin the next wave. And once what happens, right, okay. Now we've got a slightly tougher person. So that person at the front with the big stick is a bit tougher. We need to fire at them a lot. There we go, sorted. And, oh. We've got, do we click on it? Treasure. Okay, how do we get that? Place any tile on top to collect. Okay, treasure. Right, so we need to kind of make our way over to here to get some lovely, exciting goodies. Okay, that's quite good. That didn't happen in the tutorial either. Um, we have got a path over here, but I don't think we can build it. I don't think we can use it. Hang on, hang on. Can water hang over the edge? No, it can't. So we might have to do that, although we are 
in desperate, desperate need of a flag thing. We have to have a flag thing to expand the territory. Um, or can we... Do we not have to place that? We might have to start skipping these until we get something useful. However, the spike trap could be handy. Do you know what? Hang on. Skip that. Skip that bit of path because that's no use at all. So we're going to spend two of our 12 money on getting that done. Now we can have a spike trap. Yes, please. We will take one of those. And if we rotate that round like that... No. The game says no. Oh, no. Okay. Right. Hang on. Can we put it... We can put it there. Um, okay, that's no use though, is it? Hang on. Can we put it there and just maybe try and force them round in that direction? This isn't working out as well as it did in the tutorial. We've not got much in the way of a decent kind of... Um, we haven't had the flags. The flags haven't kind of appeared, so we haven't got much in the way of ground to build on. Um, okay. So where are they likely to walk? We can't put it there, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. It would be handy if we could put it there, but never mind. Can't put it there. Can we put it anywhere over here? Can we use a bomb or something and blow something up? No, we can't. We could put it there, but there is an area effect thing just there. Does the spike trap poke at them as they go past? I thought they would be walking over it, but looking at that, actually, maybe the spike trap kind of leans out and pokes at them. So maybe if they do get... Hang on. Hang on. What if we just put it there? It's a bit of an experiment. We'll just put that there and see how that works. We'll place that there. Right, so begin the next wave. What happens? So let's see what the spike... Tra ah, no, there, look. There's a spiky thing in the ground. So we're firing at it. And then big spikes are sticking out as well. Okay, that's good. Right, oh, cannon tower. A cannon tower is exactly what we want. Okay, right. We'll have that bit of path... Rotate it around and put it there, thank you. Right, and then begin the next wave. I think we're okay. I think we can muddle through. The spike trap can hopefully deal with a few of these baddies coming in. And boop. Oh, yeah, that was very effective. Good job. Right, cannon tower. This is what we wanted. Oh, and a pointy flag. We want a pointy flag. This is going to be super useful. Right, okay. Put the cannon tower there because the cannon tower can then fire at those five spaces. The cannon tower is going to get a lot of hits in and it's really strong. So, yes, please, we'll have a cannon tower. And then I think, yeah, let's go to the next wave. Look at that. Boom. Massive damage on them already. And it's going to get them as they come round. It's going to keep pestering them as they wander about. So, another cannonball. Boom. Very easy. Right. Do we want to enter the black market? Do we want to pick up a bridge tiley thingamajig and a bomb thing? Or. Do we want to randomly extend the aisle? Oh no, they're all good options. Do you know what? Let's randomly extend the aisle and hope that it's over at the end where we currently are. Please be over there. Uh, okay, it kind of got us a bit nearer to the treasure chest over here, but it's going to be quite hard to build out in that direction. But okay, never mind. Right, pointy flag. That's what we want. We want a pointy flag. If we look here, it extends the aisle with new grounds. The only thing is... If we put that there, look, it's still not going to get us over to that chest. Oh, hang on. That might do. That might do. If we put it there, look, we're going to build out new ground over there. But it's not going to be overly useful to us. It's not going to do too much at all. I mean, that's quite effective. But I want to get over to the treasure because I don't know what that is. Oh, hang on. Oh, we can't put it there. I think let's put it there, place that down, and we'll try and get over to that if we can. I don't know how we can build over there, but we'll give it a go. We'll try and build other things around it. You can get things like gardens and other things. So we'll try and build out in that direction. Um, okay, begin wave nine. Ah, right, these people are quite quick. So the one, they're like berserkers or whatever. Oh, that was a bit close. That was a bit close. We have got some good weapons, but that was a little bit too close. Right, path. Can we do anything with that path? Right, we can put that bit of path there because we have sufficient bombs to blow up that bit of water. So we can put that bit of path in. So I think, yeah, we use one of our bombs to blow up that bit of water and build a path over it. So yes, please, we shall have that. A workshop? What does that do? When adjacent to two water tiles, gain a path tile of your choice. Okay, bit situational. Haven't got two water tiles right now. Okay, begin the wave load. Because the, um, the cannon tower can cause some pretty good damage. Oh, and the spike tower is going to do damage over there as well. It's adjacent. Oh, that works out very well. That's brilliant. So around here is really brutal. 
It's really good over there. Okay. Right. Income increase. Wave complete. Ah. And we get to go to the black market. Okay. Here we go. Let's have a flag. Let's have a flag. Um, and we'll pop that over there, look. And that expands territory around there. That could be quite handy. Just so we could possibly loop around here. Or is that going to be more useful? Or, hang on. Do we put it... Well, that's no use at all over there. Um, do you know what? Now we're looping back over here. Maybe that's not so important. Do you know what? We'll put it there anyway. That's fine. Um, and do we want to spend... Well, 17 money. I think maybe those materials might be quite handy just to get a bridge piece in we'll have that thank you and uh yeah there we go that'll do from the black market thank you very much i don't really want the workshop it's a bit too situational so we'll skip that for a bit of money however cannon tower yes please absolutely brilliant if we put the cannon tower just there it can fire just there and there and there that's really good yes please put that down start the wave i mean this this place here that particular tile there is just brutal. And they come back here past two more cannons, past a spiky thing. We get some money from completing the wave. A fishing hut. What does that do? Gain two money for each adjacent water tile. Okay, that seems nice. Right, so what can we do with this path? Because ideally, we want to get down to the, um, to the treasure. Can we please get down to the treasure? I don't quite know what the rules are in placing things. I don't really know what the rules are, but I think... Hang on, can we rotate that? Can we put that... We can put that there, but I want to build out this way toward the treasure. So let's put that... I don't know. Hang on, maybe we can make it a bit longer over there, look. Um, that's completely pointless. Let's do... Oh no, we need to keep a path to maybe loop around this way. Maybe we have to reserve a path to kind of loop around here. Okay, right, hang on. Hang on. We need to figure out how we're going to do this in the best possible way. Oh, this is just... isn't working as I kind of planned it might. Um, okay. I think... Let's just put that there. That might be a bit of a waste. But never mind. It's there now. Maybe we can build some more path around it or something. Um, right. Begin the next wave. So they've got shields. So they move a bit slow, but of course they've got shields. Eventually they will lose their shields and just become regular little kind of hopping bad guys in a fetching shade of hot pink. But yeah, they are... Oh, they're getting through. Shoot them quicker. There we go. Right, materials, peak or bridges. We will take two bridges, thank you very much. And then we have a fishing hut. And then also a wibbly bit. Of, that bit of path is going to be useful for over there, actually. Um, fishing hut. Okay, we'll take that. But can we put it over there? No, we can't. Botherations. Okay, never mind. Um, we'll put the fishing hut uh, there. Can we place it there? We might get a little bit of money from that. It's a bit pointless, but okay. Um, and do you know what? Yeah, we will take for a bit of money that bit of path. We'll have that bit of path because that can go just there. And then next time, yeah, we might need the flag to expand the island out in that direction. But okay, begin the next wave. Right, so we've got some quick people, got some people with sticks. We've got quite a lot of people. Okay, finish this person quickly. Crikey's. Okay, the speedy ones are getting through. We need some more weapons, I think. Or some more traps or whatever. So here we go. Right, that's that sorted. Right, an ice trap. Perfect. That's brilliant. Okay, right. We'll take a flag and we'll put the flag, I think, there to expand the land. Oh, hang on. Um, Maybe bring it more round. Hang on. Can we maybe make it more come out in this direction? Yeah, maybe like that. So we can try and loop around here, possibly. That would be better. If we could do that, that'd be great. And I'm going to spend two of our money on getting an ice trap. Because these are quite good. So if we put that... Uh, now, where's the best place for this? I think maybe, actually, there. We can't put that. That placement not allowed. Boo! Oh, because there's a path there. Oh, no. I've, I've ruined it. I've ruined it all. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Um, We'll put that thing... There then, I think. So that tile there is going to have a spiky trap on it and a frost trap. And also it's going to get hit by two cannonballs. Yeah, that's quite good. Let's make that... That bit there is a really horrible place to go. Okay, right. Go to next. We'll have a fishing hut. So we'll take the fishing hut. Um, I don't know what we do with that. Just put that over there. Place that. 
And then we get to the arrow tower. Okay, I, would, oh, I meant to press next thing. Never mind, I want to get an extra arrow tower in, but not to worry. Right, so they're firing at that. The are all being hit. Right, few. You're taking some damage. Let's fire upon you. Cannonballs and arrows. You've still got your armor. Right, I think not anymore. There we go. Wonderful. I'm not sure that frost trap is doing anything. I think the spike trap is taking precedent over that tile, which is a bit of a shame. I thought maybe it might have two effects in it, but I don't think it does. Right, okay. Let's put that arrow tower just there, because that gets some good range. Uh, one bomb required to blow up a bit of water or whatever it is, but yeah, that's okay. So we'll get that down, and then we have another bit of path which is weaving about the place. Do we want that bit? Joel, let's begin the next wave. Let's see what we can do. So we've not got that many people coming through. So we should be able to pick these off. Quick person at the front might, but oh, they're going to get through. Ooh, that was a bit close. That was a little bit close. We need some more some more towers. We need some more shooty towers because they're getting tougher. Um, magic wheel. A croupier offers you to spin, uh, to play a game of spin to win. Yes, we shall play spin to win. I mean, do we lose anything if we don't win? I don't know. Okay, so we've got a pointy arrow. Is that good? Tell us if pointy arrow is good, game. It's it's an arrow tower. Yes, we'll definitely take one of those. Thank you so much. Okay, so if we put that there, we get some hits over here. That's quite good. Or do we put it at the end? No, I think we put it there. Get some early hits in. Yeah, do you know what? Place that down. That's absolutely fine. Right, that bit of path we might not want. That bit of path is possibly not great. However, we will take that bit, because can we put that there? Yes, we can. Place that down. Head toward the treasure. I'm determined to get some lovely shiny treasure. Um, I got loads of money. Go to next. Flag. Okay, so go up here. Uh, no, go back up like that. So can we put the flag down over here somewhere to give us, again, a bit more room in this part of the world? Um... No, not, we're going to have to loop round the edge of the flag, and that's a bit naff, isn't it? Unless we put it, I don't know, there, get some more room over here, but again, that's a little bit pointless. I want us to kind of loop round here, if at all possible, but maybe we can't do that. That might help. Do you know what? We'll put that there. It's fine. What's next? A bit of path that goes to the right. Okay, begin this wave. So we're getting some early hits in. One person already dealt with by that tower. In come the cannibals. Right, these big fellas here, the big beardy men, they're quite difficult to kill. Down here we're lacking. He might possibly get through, might the big lad. Uh, ah, I think the spike trap did get him, but I think he might possibly get through. Right, so he caused a point of damage. So we're down to nine health on wave 16. So he did get through to our lovely floaty golden gem thing and he hurt it. Boo, I say to you. Okay, so I think, do we go for the treasure? Because I want to see what's in it. I think we can do it. So grab that and put that there. And then if we go next, we can get that path. We can put that there. It's on top of the treasure. Income increased. We get a little bit of extra money per turn. And also we got five gold. I don't feel like that was worth the effort, but okay, <laughs> that's fine. Right, let's spend it on an arrow tower then. Can we put the arrow tower there? Require a bridge to... Oh, hang on. Or can we put it here, look? Requires a bomb to blow up that thing, but then we get some hits on that corner. Because I think down here nothing happens to the baddies. Joe, you know yeah, let's put an arrow tower there, please. Right, begin the next wave. So here come some more people. Right, it's getting really tough now. The spike traps are good. Yeah, I think that the the the, whatever it is, the frost trap isn't doing anything at all, which is a bit of a shame. Right, can we please get you hit with the spiky trap? Yes, okay, the spike trap caused some good damage to you. Right, path. We'll have a bit of path just going out like that. Um, a garden. What does a garden do? Gain one money when placed. Oh, okay. No point buying that in then, because that's a bit of a waste of time. So here we go. Let's get this done. Get this quick lad at the front. Get him. No great big beardy lads. So that's okay. So we should be all right. Then we can muddle through. They've lost their shields. They're just kind of happily hopping away. Being shot at by us. And boom. There we go. Okay. Oh. Hang on. Oh. Right. We've now got two areas that we have to care about. Right. That wasn't described in the tutorial either. Okay. Right. Now we have two floaty golden gem things that we really are quite fond of. 
Right. Okay. Right, let's put the garden down. Um, we can put the garden down anywhere, I think. Let's just put it there, look, because it doesn't really matter. We get some stuff for it. Hooray, we got some money. Very nice. Um, I think it depends. We've got one person coming out of there. Is it worth? Hang on. I think we can handle that for now. So that one person has been dealt with. Okay, income increase plus four. Very nice. Right, get these all sorted. There's a big lad. There's a big beardy fella at the front. Can we please get rid of him? Focus all fire on the big lad. Right, the cannon should do some good kind of splash damage. That's pretty good. Spiky trap also causing good damage. He's going to get through. The big lad's going to get in. Good, some hits, some hits. Oh, I got in and took up, took another heart away from us. Bother. Okay, flag. I think we put the flag just there to expand our land out that way a bit. And then we have a bit of path. Hang on, go to next. We now have a bit of path over here, which we could use to... Oh, bother. Okay, that's not what we wanted. Okay, hang on. That bit can go over there. Place that. We'll get an ice trap over here. And we'll actually make that work properly this time. So hang on. So we can do that, look. So just here we'll have an ice trap. Use one of our bridges to build over the edge of the island. Place that, please. Right, there we go. Ah, yeah. So now there's a little kind of frosty thing on the floor. So yeah, that is wasted. That's a bit of a shame. Never mind. Never mind. You live and learn. Right, so start the next wave. They're going to get slowed down by the ice trap, which is quite good. So hopefully that tower can take care of them for now. Oh, there's two big beardy lads coming in. Okay, hopefully we can get rid of one of them. I'd like to think, given they're the only thing we're firing at, we should be able to take them down. At least one of them, I would have thought. That was a terrible shot from that cannon tower. I think the guy at the back's going to go. The guy at the front is going to get through. Okay, down to seven. But we just went up one. Did we? Ah, wave 20, yeah, because of our, what was it, guild thing? Um, yeah, we gain a life back, don't we? Okay, so now we've got relics. Accumulation. Grow the entire aisle. That would be useful. Or carte blanche. Immediately draw bonus cards. Twice. I think grow the aisle. Because we're a bit pushed for space. So, yeah, do you know what? Grow the entire thing. Okay, more room over here. Useful. More room over there. Handy. Path. And an arrow tower. We're going to have to put an arrow tower over there, I think. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll have a bit of path. Let's have that coming in over there. And then we will go to next, because we've got quite a lot of money. And we'll have an arrow tower over here, look. Just to fire more on those guys. Because I think they might get a bit troublesome. So, okay, place that down. Then we have a flag. Uh, do you know what? We'll go to the next wave and we'll see what we can do. So, regular people coming through. Have we dealt with them already? I took my eye off that bit to look over here, but I suspect maybe we've dealt with them. Ooh, you're new. Okay, there's, there's a chappy with an axe over there. He moves quickly and he's really tough. Okay, right. We're going to get mullered over here. We need to get some more defences in around this part of the world. Uh, okay, flag. Do we care about the flag? Do we need any more territory around here? Um, I mean, possibly over in that part of the world. Let's put a flag down over there for whatever reason. Um, and then we have a bit of path. Do you know what? Let's get that. Let's get the bit of path. Bring that in like that. Yes, please. Right, quarry. What does that do? Uh, destroy all adjacent tiles. Get one money for each destroyed tile. Oh, okay. So we could, in theory, put the quarry there and destroy all that, because we don't need that anymore. That's completely pointless. Right, okay. Begin that wave. So that over there's fine. That's all sorted. It's the tough lads over here. It's it's the it's the guys with the big axe. Although, if we get some good hits in now, we might be able to take you down. Go over the spiky trap. Okay, good. We're taking care of one of the quick ones. Now it's just the tall ones that are happily hopping along. There <laughs> we go. Right, boom and boom. Oh, okay. Restore a heart. Get some materials. I'll get a statue. What does a statue do? Gain two bombs when fully surrounded, including diagonals. Okay. It's a bit situational. Could we possibly position it somewhere over here? And then fill in over here, maybe? Um, or do we not use the quarry? We could put the statue over here, maybe. Or do we just take one bomb and one bridge? Right now. Or do we take a point of healing? Joe, let's have a bomb and a bridge. Thank you very much. Uh, right, we don't want the quarry because it's a bit rubbish. I don't want that at all, thank you. Uh, let's have a bit of path going along there. Can we please get some things that we can shoot to the baddies? That'd be quite nice. 
some sort of shooty stuff would be useful. I've uh, got loads of money. Let's flick through. So go to next. We have a flag. Another cannon tower. I think, yes, we have to get a cannon tower in and around here somewhere. So the flag. We can probably skip the flag. Although maybe over here might be useful for a flag. Do you want a bit more room over in this part of the world? Just to expand. Uh, that's not allowed. That's pretty useless. Can't put it there. Uh, we could put it there, actually, if we wanted to. And force everything to go in this direction using our one and only bomb. That seems a bit of a waste of effort, doesn't it? Um, okay, how about then we put it... Uh, okay, maybe we don't need this. I don't think we need that flag. Uh, let's go to the cannon tower. I'm a bit concerned about over here. So get the cannon tower. Where? Oh, hang on. Can it go there? <gasps> we can put it in the middle. It can fire on everything around there. Yes, put it there because that's completely brilliant. Yeah, okay. That'll get some good hits in. If we could get like a, a frost tower, slowing down tower thing, that'd be really helpful. But um, okay, right. Begin the next wave. So left, look, early hits are going in already over here. So they're already taking damage, but they even get to the main kind of you know, corridor of inevitable doom, or possibly sometimes people get through. Not a catchy name. Right, you. Kill this person. Yes, we got them just in time. That bit looked pretty sort of uh, sorted. Ah, ice trap. We can have an ice trap over there. Right, a garden. We'll just put the garden down anywhere. I don't know. Let's put it... Uh, that might be quite useful. That might also be quite useful. Let's put it there. Yay for the garden on the edge of a big cliff. Right, go to next because we have lots of money. We will have an ice trap just there please. So that can slow people down get more bombs on them. That's going to be good. And then we'll spend a bit more money and have um, oh oh, hang on. Hang on. I thought that was going to fit there but it doesn't. Ah, bother. Okay, just there possibly. No. Oh, like that maybe. That's not so bad. We'll put that there. Maybe they can loop around a bit like that. And then a pointy... Okay, right. Begin the next wave. Begin the next wave. So, chuck some bombs on those people, please. And some of them are slowed down, which is good. Get some more hits in on here. They've been destroyed. This quick person here is going to go down pretty quick. Right. There's a big lad. Big beardy lad. But I think he's taking some good damage. He's taking some good hits from all the archery towers going in. He's not going to make it through to the end. One bomb and an arrow. Sorted. Right, pointy flag. Do we need any more room over there, possibly? Hang on. So if we do pointy flag, we can't put it there, but we could expand. Um, that's a bit naff, isn't it? Pointy flag is a bit rubbish. Not so bothered about pointy flag. Don't think we can use pointy flag for anything particularly useful. So... Um, okay, we'll skip that. Then we've got a path. Uh, okay, do you know what? Yes, we'll take that. We'll put that there. That's good. Got another bit of path which we can't use. So we can't use that bit of path there. Okay, that's not overly handy. Okay, let's begin wave 25 and we'll see what we can do. So you're firing on that. Oh, it's getting earlier hits in now. The cannon tower is getting really early hits in, which is very good. Right, so firing down. There's a quick one, but they've been dealt with. I keep taking my eyes off that bit over there. I assume that bit's all ticking over quite well because of the frost trap thing. But at some point, we might need to work on this a bit. Because that's going to end up like this. And they're just going to run through it. It's going to be very easy. So hang on a minute. A couple of big lads. Oh, he's going to get through, isn't he? A couple of cannonballs on you. Might sort you out. Some more arrows quickly. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Right, over to the black market. Okay, yeah, we'll take materials. Because we haven't got any bombs. So we'll take that. And then we will take that bit of path to rotate it round this way. So yeah, we'll have that bit of path, thank you. We'll put that there, look. So place that down. And then, I mean, ideally, we want another bit of path that's the same to bring it back round this way. But we haven't got that. Joe, that's fine. Thank you, Black Market. That's very nice. And then we have... Oh, hang on. That's That's there. Yes, place that down. That's brilliant. And then an arrow tower. Okay, I'm thinking we get... Oh, hang on, go to next. We'll take that. We've got four bridges. So I think, yeah, if we put that there, that could do some good... Hang on, can we rotate... Can we put it there? It's going to get even more hits in then. 
Uh, yeah, let's put it... It's only going to hit two squares, though, or two tiles or whatever. Could we put it there? No. No, we couldn't. That's unfortunate. Uh, we could put it there for one hit and a bridge. Joe, we'll put it there. That's pretty good. So place using one bridge thing. Storehouse. What does that do? When adjacent to towers, draw bo uh, adjacent to two towers, draw bonus cards. <gasps> There's a space there. Okay, right, hang on. Go to next. Keep an eye on this bit over... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go next wave. Do you know what? We'll have a storehouse then. It's fine. Go there, because then we can use our bomb to blow that up. And then it's next to two towers. So, boom, we get some bonus cards. Your next two tile refreshes cost zero, path, or dynamite. Okay. Dynamite, we just use one to put that down. So we don't even have a profit of one of those. Um, I prefer just bomb. It doesn't look like dynamite. Dynamite's a red stick. That's like a little sort of comical acme bomb type thing. No, it's not a dynamite. It's bombs. It's little adorable bombs. Um, a straight bit of path wouldn't be so bad to go there. Or the next two tile refreshes cost zero. I mean, we've got loads of money. Joe, we'll have a bit of path. It's not very exciting, but we'll put that down over there. That makes that route a bit longer. Um, okay, right. Begin the next wave. Watch over here. Oh, dear. Right, I suspect maybe that one's going to get through. Oh, no, they are being slowed down. They're being slowed down, but they got through. Okay, have to do something over here. This bit now seems to be pretty sound. We've concentrated quite heavily over here. That bit over there is in a bad way. Although, ah, two big lads coming through here. Right, fire on these. Fire lots out. That more firing at them, please. We need more kind of firepower over here. I think one might go down. We might struggle to get the next one on here. Just... Oh, that was close. That was very, very close indeed. Okay. Um, that bit of path is going to be no good. Because that's going to ping us out in that direction. Over here. No, I don't want either of those bits of path. So no to that bit. And no to that bit, really. Uh, flag. We could put a flag around here to expand that. But that's no use. Arrow tower. That's what we want. Shooty things. Okay, so can we please have an arrow tower over here? So put that... Hang on a minute, rotate it. Uh, oh, it's on its own. Oh, it's not got an extra bit attached to it. It's just on its own. Okay, put that over there to get some more... Oh, hang on. Can we put it there, look? To get some good hit. Oh, hang on. There. It's got three spaces it can hit. So yeah, we'll put that there to try and defend that bit a little bit better. Um, right, go to next. Workshop, remind me... Uh, adjacent to two water tiles. Uh, okay. We could put that there. We could put it just there. That's adjacent to two. Yeah, let's do that. Can we put that there, please? Place that down. And we get... Oh, the agony of choice. A path or a path? We'll have a path, please. Uh, we'll pop that there. So that route's now a bit longer. And then an ice trap. We could do with maybe another ice trap over here. Do you know what? We shall grab another ice trap... Um, we might have to hang it over the edge of the uh, edge of the thing, edge of the map, but that's okay. Place it there, look, and they will be slow, just there, and those two towers can fire at them. Okay, right, there we go. And if we complete three more waves, we get another life back. So here we go, start the next wave. Watch over here, look, because this is important. We need like a cannon tower over here. We are picking them off. It's now just you at the front, but hopefully, if you slow down enough, just get another couple of shots in. Beautiful. Right, back over here. Ooh. Ooh, there's like a there's a little kind of hoppy monk man. Okay, the monk man's shield is gone, but he's got a really tough shield. Bother. Okay, right. He might possibly get through. <laughs> We're going to be beaten by the holy man. Okay, in comes the holy man. The holy man's touching the floaty golden gem thing. Boo. Right, and we just got rid of that one, but we're really struggling. Down to five hearts. So we're down on half health, Ron, pretty much. Okay. We might need to start spending some money. Um, a big bit of path. That could go... Oh, we're going to get all muddled up in the middle here, aren't we? It's all going to get complicated. I was trying to think about bringing that back around, but maybe we need the flags to expand over here. So hang on. Grab that, put that down, and then we'll go to the flag. And if we put the flag there... That expands that land out that way a bit. Okay, that might be what we have to do. Uh, go to next. Got another bit of path. We'll take that and put that there. We need something over here to maybe fire at the baddies now. Um, and uh, I think we just have to keep going through until we find some shoot. Ah, a dart tower. 
We've not had one of those yet. That was one of the special things for this level. So um, we'll have a bit of path. Thank you. We just sort of put that. It's going to get very horrible in the middle. Put that there. If we're going to see special troops appearing over here, we need to put the dark tower over there. Uh, what does a fountain do? Gives two hearts when fully surrounded by other tiles, including diagonals. We've got to get that in. That could heal us up a bit, and that would be very good. I mean, over here looks pretty promising. Maybe, yeah, we pop that in there. Right, the dark tower. Do we put the dark tower over here, or do we put the dark tower over there? I'm thinking, have the dark tower like that, and it can fire two in a line as they come round this corner. Yes. Okay, perfect. Please fire at them. That's going to be good. And then the fountain, we will put... Yeah, I think if we put that down, so pop that there for now, and then we'll try and fill that in to later date. And then that should be okay. So place that down for now. Right, start wave. Let's watch the dart tower. What are you going to do? In come some things. Oh, and it, oh, it's really quick. It's really quick. There's quite a lot of baddies. Okay, over here. Lots and lots of you. Oh, freeze them quickly. Right, punishing damage, punishing damage. Right, they got through down to four. There's quite a lot of them coming in over here. There's some big lads coming in. Oh, dear. <laughs> I suspect we might not get to level 40, but okay, we're going to give it a good go. Right, big lad coming in. That was good. Oh, he's going to get in. He's going to get in. He's going to take one of our things. He's not going to, though. Down to three. Oh, marvellous. Another thing has opened up. Oh, this is all fine. We can't manage this one. That one's completely out of control. And now we have another one to look after. Oh, good. <laughs> um... Okay, do you know what? We'll take that and we'll put that there. That might be stupid, but never mind. That tower can get a lot more hits in. Um, and then if we go to next, we need to figure out a way of sort of um, getting something next to that. Uh, a path there could go like that to make that a bit longer. Although we haven't got any more defences appearing. We need more kind of shooty things going. Cannon tower. Perfect. Yes, put that around here somewhere, please. More cannons. Right, the flag... Could go there, look. Use one of our bridges to give us more room over there. Because now we have a third place to think about. And get a cannon tower, please. And put it there. That is key to everything. That might help us out over here quite a bit. Right. There's two people coming through here. Ten coming through there. Okay. Begin the next wave. The cannon tower is doing some good work. But you're too quick. You're too quick. Hang on. But we're going to get them. Okay. That's good. They've been dealt with on the new bit. And then over here on our first one, hang on, they're still being handled. They're dead. Right. Shoot it, shoot. Oh no, these people are going to get through. <laughs> more bombs. More, more shooting. More shooting. Down to two. We've got a big lad coming in. I think we should be okay with him. Because everybody can just properly wail on him with all their stuff. So he'll be alright. He'll go. Um, hang on, we need to complete the next wave to get a heart recovered. Right, statue. Gain two bombs when fully surrounded. Not that bothered. Although, if we put it there, that means the fountain will be surrounded and we get two hearts back. Yes. Put that there, please. We get two hearts back. Okay, that might have possibly kept us in for another couple of waves. And then we have an ice trap. Where do we put the ice trap? Do we put it... I mean, here would be... Hang on, hang on. Can we put it there? Because this bit is where we're struggling. That bit's sort of okay. That bit, I guess, is going to be fine for a while. This bit here, we need to slow them down. So if we slow them down here, they can go, get got by the bombs and the um, this sort of uh, dart tower thing. That could be quite good. Yeah, okay. Put that there. Use a bridge thingamajig. Um, okay, next up, let's use some money because we might as well. A bit of path. Okay, not overly exciting. But if we put the bit of path there... They're going to walk around that tower even further. The tower gets more shots in. Okay, right. Begin the next wave. This is now quite hard to monitor. Down there, that's going to be fun. That's dealt with. Over here is looking okay. Cannon tower is doing some good damage. Over there, that freezing thing is actually working quite well. Because they're getting stuck. These two are going to go down. So you're going to go, uh, hopefully. Shoot, shoot them quicker. Good grief. However... We do have the kind of holy man and his magic shield. And it's just reappeared. Oh dear. Right. He's going to get through. Can we please all all fire on the big lad? Okay. Uh, found his pledge. Okay. Uh, there's some more treasure. Yay. 
I don't think we're going to get to wave 40. It's quite challenging, this. It's quite tricky. Right. Pointy flag. Do we need the pointy flag? I'm thinking possibly over here to expand land out in that direction a bit because it's a bit tight around there. So we'll put the pointy flag over there. That's fine. Go to next because we might as well use our money. Our oh, path is no use. Path is no good. We want shooty things. Okay, we'll take that path and we'll put it... How about put it there, look? Place that down. There's a great big bit of path over there. There's an arrow tower. That's what we want. Okay, so if we go like that, this could be a bit of a problem. We could box ourselves in on this path. But then if they start here, that tower could fire at them. Hang on, yeah, place that there. That's quite good. Go to next, get the arrow tower. What does the quarry do again? Destroys all the adjacent tiles. Yeah, that's no use. Okay, don't care about that. Right, arrow tower. Where do we position this? I think it might have to go somewhere around here. We could put it there for a couple of, uh, couple of spots. Do some more damage over there. We could... If we put it there... No, we can't put it there. Because that blocks that bit off. Uh, we could put it... Hang on. Could put it there for some early hits. They might be frozen. So we get some more hits in. That's quite good, actually. Yeah, put it there. And... Got loads of money. Okay, next up, quarry. Don't care about that. Go to next. Let's get rid of that path. Okay. We're not getting very exciting bits anymore. Um, okay, hang on. If that path comes in... Do you know let's begin the next wave. We'll see what we do next. Right, this bit down here, not bothered. They're handled. Over here is looking a little bit weak. Over here, though... Come on, come on, kill that person. Right, they're dealt with. So over here, look. Just go down here. There's some traps. Shooty shoot. And... Right, they're taken out. The guys at the front. There's a big guy at the back with the with the helmet and a really big, massive, pointy sword. <laughs> okay, all, all fire on him. Everybody aim at him. Fire at Will. I don't know if he's called Will. We're going to call him Will and we're going to fire at him. Will, go away. Stop stealing our hearts, Will. Okay, right. Firing, firing. He's... Okay, right. He's the new big lad. The other big lads aren't quite as big. Oh. Right, okay, hang on. Can we have that path going there? That's quite useful. So now I believe that tower can fire on those baddies as soon as they appear, which is quite useful. Uh, go to next. Flag. Do we need this? A cannon tower. A beautiful cannon tower. We have to put that around the middle somewhere because they're just getting through too easily. Um, we'll have the flag then. Uh, we'll put the flag... I mean there is that going to be any use we can put it there look so it might get a little bit more room round this part of the world okay and then go to next All right cannon tower this is quite important where do we put this it's on its own so it's fine do we put it hang on can we put it there because then it can fire at potentially people that come over here as well so we can fire at the bad guys as they come from here on our great big sort of initial route and then it can fire on them at the end of that one. That's quite a good spot. Yes, we'll have that, please. Um, okay, go to the next wave. We're clinging on. We're desperately clinging on, but it's fine. Right, down there's dealt with, hopefully. They're done. Over here. Oh, no. Quickly. Quickly, there's got tough people up here. Over here, we've got a holy man. We've got a guy with his magic kind of religious shield thingamajig. Got a quick guy coming through. They've been dealt with. Can we please destroy over here? And just, we've just finished over there. Right, can we please then do that there? The religious guy's coming in. Spiky trap him. No, oh, he missed the spiky trap. He's going to get, he's stealing our golden shiny gems. Boo. Okay, border stone. Gain one shiny gold coin whenever you place a tile on the edge of the aisle. Reservoir. Cards containing water tiles can be skipped for free. That could be quite handy. That could be quite useful. Then we can skip through useless tiles. Yeah, we'll have a reservoir, please. And the first one we get is a quarry that we have to skip with money. Never mind. Not so bothered about that. But the ice trap. The ice trap could be very handy. If we put the ice trap over here, maybe? They slow down. They're going to walk around here and get slowed. That's no use. That's a bit rubbish. Unless we put it there. Ice trap here. Slow them down. Bomb thing gets them. Ice trap... Hang on, where can we put the ice trap? Because it's really good. It's really effective. I just want to figure out exactly where it could go. 
Um, I mean, there would be brilliant. We haven't got any bombs though. Oh no. We might have to put it there and slow them down as they walk around here. So maybe they're slow when they walk toward the dark tower thingamajig. Um, them being slow there is going to be no use at all. Being slow there is no use. I think that's our best shot. I think that's the best thing for it. Okay. Um, right, go to next. Big long bit of path. Do you know what? We'll put that over there. There we go. Maybe if we do make that longer, that could space out the baddies a bit. So the quick running baddies can get through first. So we can get some good shots on them as they sort of you know, run ahead of their slower compatriots. And then eventually they can get around and we can shoot at them. Maybe that could help quite a bit. Um, okay, go to next. Flag. I know now we've got the reservoir. We could skip water bits. There are no water bits anymore. Brilliant. Flag. Where can we put the flag with a bit of path? Like that? That might be helpful. Like that. Right. Next wave. Here we go. I'm, I'm, we're so short on health. <laughs> look, here we go. Look. So they've run around a bit quicker. So we can now target them first, get rid of them, hopefully, and then concentrate on these guys here. Um, income increased. Yay. I suspect maybe we're going to struggle over here a bit. Can we take out at least one of you? Oh, no, you're going to get through. Oh, dear. Right. We're down to one health and we've got a religious holy man coming through and a guy with a massive sword. I suspect maybe this is game up, folks, but we gave it a very, very good shot. Defeat. 32 waves out of 40 survived. 22, uh, 21, sorry, new elements unlocked. What does that do? I don't know what that means. What does that mean, game? I'm not quite sure, but okay, continue that. Um, oh, and now we've unlocked a sniper tower. That's quite good. And a ring of ruin. Uh, a bonus card. Gain one shiny, lovely money whenever a tile is destroyed. Okay, so, oh, we've got coin toss. Play with your life. Oh, so that, the, ah, the spinny wheel thing was the encounter, was it? And now we can have a coin toss as well. A reinforced path. Okay. Don't know what that does. What's the point of that? Do the pass need reinforcing? Um, a bundle bonus card. Oh, it gives you life. And a ballista tower. Oh, you unlock so many more things when you play next time. That's wonderful. Okay. Abundance, a bonus card. They might drop coins. Bombardment. Randomly spawn a cannon tower. That's brilliant. Fletching. The damage of all arrow towers goes up. Gravel pit. Corrosive sort of tiles diagonally. Oh, this is what we've lost. The, the card, they're called cards. They're called elements. Okay. Moving currents, randomly spawn a fishing hook, jackpot, we just get a load of money, skewer, add a spike trap to a random path told, that's brilliant, grinding stone, spike trap stay up longer, and that's quite good as well, defense scheme, fourth card from now will be a sniper tower, stonemason, don't know what they do, boulder tower, oh there's so many exciting new weapons that we've unlocked, cursed shovel, okay, that doesn't sound quite as good, I'd like to have a regular shovel, please. Quarries disappear after being placed. Dark Tower. Oh, another Dark Tower goes into the mix then, does it? Okay. Seal of Patience. If it place any tiles during a turn, get two money. And a Spike Trap. Another Spike Trap goes into the mix. Ah, okay. So what's Compendium then? This is telling us all of the tiles that we have, I imagine. Oh, these are the tiles that are available. Oh, there's many. Market squares, we've got fountains and loads of different path types, bonus cards. Are these the ones that we now have access to? But we just didn't see some of them. Like, we didn't see a market square. We didn't see that, I don't think. But, okay, it looks like these are the ones that we have access to. Because, yeah, we've seen some of these, I think. We saw some of these, I'm fairly sure. But, okay, well, there we go. That was Isle of Arrows. And I think that's a game that benefits from kind of playing... And you get so far, and then you play again. You kind of keep trying to do the best you can on level, and then you get some new goodies, like we've got sniper towers and bombard towers, whatever it was now, to maybe have another go at that level. But this time, we've got different things. Maybe we might get some more kind of shooty things to fire at the bad guys, which I think possibly was our problem. We had lots and lots of other tiles going on, loads of path, and we had some gardens. We got quite a lot of quarries popping up, but we didn't really have that many shooty things. I would have preferred maybe, you know, another handful, even another, what, four shooty things? So maybe two or three possibly on the main big run in the middle, and then one on the run to the sort of northeast, I suppose, the second one that appeared. I think that that would have helped. That would have helped quite a lot, but I quite like that. I like that. That's quite a fun, interesting sort of, uh, an interesting tower defense game. 
where you get to kind of build, but with cards, you build up your pack of cards. You can skip them if you like. There's a kind of a finance system involved. You've got your bridges and your bombs and that kind of stuff. It's a little bit different. And I really enjoyed that. And it's one of those games that does encourage replaying. It's got good replayability value because yes, as we've just seen, now we've got a whole host of new exciting thingamajigs that might help us complete that particular run next time out. But yeah, there we go. We had a good go. We got to, what did we get to? Oh, hang on, achievements. Oh, we haven't done any of these. Never mind. Um, hang on. What did we get to? We got to, was it level 32? Yeah, we completed 32 out of the 40, uh, the 40 waves we had to complete to finish that off. Um, I can't work out what percentage that is, but it's quite tight. It's about three quarters. It's about three quarters of the way through. So uh, that wasn't too bad. That's not too bad at all. And then, of course, yeah, you do unlock other stuff as well. We've got uh, Gauntlet. So if we complete Archer's Oath, we then unlock Gauntlet, which is quite interesting. So yeah, there's quite a lot going on. So yeah, hopefully that was quite entertaining to watch. It was a lot of fun to play. If you know, if I faffed about with it and such like, that's to be expected because I do a lot of faffing. But yeah, it was really good fun to play. So hopefully it was good fun to watch. If you did enjoy this, then please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. This robotic arm has salmonella on it. Okay, so we've got two things that are diseased. Be warned about tutorial robot. He's all sort of retro and adorable. I think he wants to destroy humanity. <laughs> Hungry humans, come and order some food. 74% efficiency. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. There he is. There's the murderous robot face. 